Hello viewers, this is Dr. Abdul Khayyum. Uh, I'm a medical oncologist. I discuss various topics uh, relevant to cancer diagnosis and treatment on my channel. Today, I have got very uh, interesting subject to talk about. Recently, I have seen a laboratory report of a man uh, which is uh, circulated in social media as a fun and joke. Uh, it has been uh, attributed that the laboratory has done wrong testing. The man has been found positive on pregnancy testing of urine. This is a serious subject and needs to be explored in depth. So we will talk about, um, about this positive pregnancy test in men, the causes and the explanation of, of this. Positive pregnancy test in males is uh, sounds odd but is not without sense and without logic. Let's consider this in details. Let's first talk about the pregnancy test itself. What does it test? Which chemicals or compounds in the urine uh, does it test for? Pregnancy test looks the presence of elevated or increased levels of hormone which is called beta human chorionic gonadotrophin in abbreviation it's uh, HCG. Now this is very common in pregnancy that this hormone is uh, uh, excreted in raised concentrations in urine. However, if a man has elevated levels of HCG, he could have testicular cancer resulting in a positive pregnancy uh, test. Now let's uh, talk about the details of these statements. Beta human chorionic uh, gonadotrophin beta HCG is produced by the placenta during pregnancy. Now in pregnancy it prevents uh, the uterus from contraction and has, a, has other multiple other functions as well. Uh, so it uh, does prevent uh, a sudden abortion and sudden expulsion of the fetus from uterus. The other functions help the pregnancy as well. In addition to its source from placenta, beta HCG is also produced by several tumors. Most common of these are cancers of testes. Rarely, the other tumors as well um, produce beta HCG. These include tumors of stomach, tumors of lungs and ovaries. In very rare cases, advanced kidney failure or advanced renal failure also uh, leads to increase in the uh, beta HCG levels in blood. Testicular tumors are the largest source of beta HCG in men. There are two main types of uh, testicular tumors, seminomas and non-seminomas. 20 to 40 percent of seminomas produce beta HCG whereas 40 to 50 percent, that is nearly half, of the um, non seminomatous tumors produce beta HCG. Testicular tumors <laughs> are detected and diagnosed early on uh, in their course uh, because of the symptoms and signs. These uh, symptoms and signs include feeling of lump uh, in the testes, testicular enlargement, a change in the shape or size of the testes, pain or discomfort in the scrotum or testicle, a dull ache or sense of pressure in the lower back or abdomen. Also, the person may feel of may, may have feeling of heaviness or fullness in the scrotum. Very rarely, sometimes the patient may present with the enlargement of or tenderness of the breasts. Another thing to remember about testicular tumors is that they are often found in young people. They are very rare in middle age uh, and even rarer in old age. Uh, however, if a testicular tumor is found uh, in old age, it's more likely to be of a different type. These type of tumors do not secrete beta HCG and uh, so the person is not positive on pregnancy testing. The good news is that generally 99% of the testicular tumors are curable but for cure they need proper investigations and uh, treatment as per recommendations of the relevant uh, oncologist. 
The testicular tumor can be localized, which means it's uh, found only in the testes and with no spread outside the testes. These tumors are normally treated with the surgery as the first line, uh, followed by any chemotherapy or radiotherapy. The chemotherapy and radiotherapy are dependent on the features found on the microscopy of the tissue sample uh, after surgery. In slightly more advanced uh, testicular tumors, there is a spread in the uh, lymph nodes in the tummy or abdomen. This is called a regional spread of the testicular cancer. Even with the regional spread, it has 96% cure rate. Again, the surgery is usually the first line treatment followed by chemotherapy and radiotherapy as uh, per findings on microscopy of the surgical specimen. In very advanced cases, <laughs> testicular tumor is spread at other distant sites such as liver, lungs or even brain. Even in these uh, advanced cases, there is 75% cure rate. These advanced cases are treated by chemotherapy and sometimes radiotherapy and surgery if considered appropriate. So friends, a uh, positive pregnancy test in a man is not a fun, it's a serious matter uh, and it should be investigated and uh, treated appropriately. Uh, the men of uh, young age, particularly uh, age between 17 and 30 years, should be vigilant and perform a regular self-examination so that any early tumor or lump uh, be detected and further investigated. They should consult a physician if uh, any abnormality found as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this uh, video informative and useful and interesting, then kindly press the like button on the YouTube channel. Leave your comments underneath if there are any and kindly subscribe the channel so that you receive future videos in time. Thank you.